FT1138 here, and this is Top 3 Tuesday. As per usual, I am going to mention the folks that were kind enough to post video responses on last week's Top 3 Tuesday. They were Kit171, Lagaya Rasaru, Hooniverse Review, Sega and More, Dahmer Cool Stuff, Michael B. The Game Genie, Thrift Dweller, The Retro Gamer John, and I Like Over 80,000 Pies. I will admit that I have not watched all of these videos yet, and I really need to get on the ball before this video uploads, but... Thank you to all of you that posted video responses, and thank you to all of you that posted comments down below. I know I have been really terrible at responding to comments lately, and I apologize, but between trying to watch the Top 3 Tuesday videos, getting my videos posted, and trying to keep up with the 300 plus people that I'm subscribed to, it's really difficult. I'm sure that some of you understand what I'm trying to say. So, sorry. I do read every single comment. It makes me very happy during the day when I'm at work to flip through and read the comments as they come in. Uh, I do read every single one. I have not been responding to them. Sorry about that. Now, this week we have a gentleman that is fairly new to YouTube. I don't think he's only been on here but a few months. Uh, I noticed him when he started uh, leaving comments on my videos and then he started doing video responses to Top 3 Tuesdays. And I will tell you, even though he's not been on YouTube for that long, his videos are much higher quality than the videos that I put out. So, in any case, uh, Michael B. The Game Genie will be providing this week's question, and here he is. Hello YouTube, this is Michael B. The Game Genie, and this is a video for Ed T1138's Top 3 Tuesday featuring... Optimus, who are we featuring this week anyways? Who? Michael B. The Game Genie? That's me! Oh my god! When I started making videos on YouTube, I never dreamed this would be possible. So, guys, this is Michael B. The Game Genie, and this is my Top 3 Tuesday. My question is, your top three games based on their music or soundtrack. <laughs> In my opinion, what makes a good game is when they have solid controls, they're fun to play, and they have a decent storyline. But then what makes that game great is if they got some really kick-ass music. And I'm talking about games here that, you know, you play and you just walk away and you're still humming the music for it after you stop playing. So my number three game on this list is... Mega Man 2 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. A lot of people don't know this, but the actual Japanese release of Mega Man is actually called Rockman, and it's based off the rock-paper-scissors combination, but that's not the only reason. It's actually based off Rockman because when the creators originally put this together, they wanted to have an amazing soundtrack to go with the original game Mega Man 1. While Mega Man 1's soundtrack is amazing, they really, really nailed it with Mega Man 2. Each song is just absolutely amazing. The song you're listening to actually in the background of this is a song from the first Dr. Wily stage, which is just amazing. One of my favorite ever songs in games. Number two on this list is... Castlevania 4 on the Super Nintendo. While it's very hard to pick from the Castlevania series because they all have amazing music, Castlevania 4 was the first release on the Super Nintendo and it just blew all the others away in my opinion. Actually, later on in the game, uh, there's actually some remix classics of the first three Castlevanias that are just fantastic to listen to. The song that you're listening to right now is the actual stage music from the very first stage when you start playing. And my number one choice for games that I love because of the music or soundtrack is Sonic CD. Sonic CD is arguably the best music ever put into a Sonic game. And it's the first game that I had on the CD system where I really noticed a difference between what I was accustomed to with the 8-bit and 16-bit um, sound systems compared to what a CD game could play, basically. And each track's amazing. The track that you're listening to in the background right now is the cover track from the game called Sonic Boom. And in my opinion, it's still a song I love today. I, I know all the words, and I just sing it when I'm walking around sometimes. I love Sonic CD, I love the music, it is fantastic. If you've never played it, definitely deserves a pickup. Alright guys, so those are my top three games based on music or soundtrack. 
I want to say thank you so much to AT1138. I can't tell you how much this means to me that you asked me to do one of these videos. It's amazing. I've been watching for a very long time, and I've been making responses ever since I started doing our videos on YouTube. Actually, my first response was my second video I ever did here on YouTube. So thank you so much. You're amazing, and I really, really appreciate this. Guys, I hope you enjoy the video. If you really like it, you know what? Subscribe to my channel. That'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. So anyways, guys, this has been Michael B. The Game Genie doing a video for EdT1138, Top 3 Tuesday. I hope you enjoy, and I'll talk to you next time. You suck, Michael B. The Game Genie, because when you first told me you were going to ask this question, three games came immediately to mind, and two of them are on your list, which made me really angry when I saw the video, but that's okay, because I had picked out three video games that could have just as easily been on that first list, and in fact are on this list, so I'm not sure why I said that other stuff. But anyway... To those of you that are going to answer this question, you can answer the one that Michael B. The Game Genie asked, which was something to the effect of uh, top three video games that you liked for the soundtrack. Or it can just be your top three video game soundtracks, as far as I'm concerned. That would be fine, as long as, as it is music related. I'm talking to you, Kit171, because I know you like to watch these videos and then just make up whatever the heck topic you want to talk about for your response video. But at least make it music related this time. Now. My top three, uh, a little bit different. Maybe some of you wouldn't have picked them. Um, number three for me is Earthworm Jim, and I am holding the Sega Genesis version of Earthworm Jim. But as much as I like the funky Genesis beat, it is not the preferred platform to play this game on, or at least to listen to this game on. Um, I like the Super Nintendo version better for the music. Now, I thought I had the Super Nintendo version, but I have either lost it, or loaned it out, or it's in my son's room, whatever, so I'm going to show you this to illustrate. But, this game has a weird-ass soundtrack, man. It is varied and odd. You have uh, weird banjo-picking hillbilly music, which is probably going to be playing right now. Uh, it has awesome classical music, and then you have... Uh, spooky space age type music which I'll probably be playing at the end here and it is just I don't know it's just different and as much as I enjoy playing the game I like listening to the music while I'm playing the game just as well it is really really good especially on the Super Nintendo and uh, it just it has something for everybody so that's why this is number three as odd as the soundtrack is it is very fun um, number two is a game that I don't really care for which is sad because it's a Star Wars game. It's Star Wars Force Commander. I was really into StarCraft at the time. So when this was coming out, I thought, wow, fantastic. StarCraft, but with Star Wars characters. And it kind of was, but I never got used to the perspective because it was this, you could move your perspective all over the place. And I don't know, I used to just play it and move it as far out as I could and then try and get it directly above. I just... I don't know. When I'm playing real-time strategy, I want the overhead view, so I don't have to worry where all my stuff is in relationship to the camera. But, the one thing I did like about this was the Imperial March that they had in the, uh, like, the menu selection page. Um, when I looked it up online, it's called the Imperial March Rage Edition, or Rage Mix, or Remix, or, I don't know, whatever. It is the Imperial March with guitars, essentially, and when I first heard it, it made me smile. That is what I like about this game. Now, you might be thinking, what could possibly be better than a Star Wars Nerdgasm? And the truth is, not very much. But, in terms of games that I like for the music, I had to pick this one as number one, because as much as I like the gameplay in 007 Goldeneye, the music totally immersed me in the environment. Uh, when I would play this game, I felt like I was in the movie, and that was because of the music. Uh, the music, I don't know, I've always thought that the Super Nintendo sound processor was better than the Nintendo 64 sound processor, and for all I know, honestly, they're the same sound processor, I don't know. But this was one of the exceptions. Um, I just, I liked all the music, and all the different levels had, had different themes, and they were all good. They all felt like James Bond. I have loved James Bond since I was a little kid. It's something that my brother got me hooked on, and I've been there ever since. GoldenEye is by far the best movie Pierce Brosnan was in, as far as uh, James Bond movies. And uh, 
I don't know, playing this game made me feel like I was in the movie, made me feel like I was a kid again, even though I was an adult. I think I was 20 years old or 19 years old when this came out, so. Very cool game, made me feel like a kid again. The music totally immersed me into the environment of the game. This is going to be number one, and those are the reasons. And I can't believe I got through this video. It only took me 12 takes, at least 12 takes, and I had a breakdancing fly. Now, thank you very much for watching. Please go check out Michael B. The Game Genie's channel. Uh, he does video game reviews, he does pickups, he does all sorts of different things. Uh, very entertaining guy. He's like a lot of people that I really like on YouTube. He will talk to the camera like you guys are in the room with him. So, in any case, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Which made me very angry when I first saw this video, but it's okay because I have... What the hell is on my... What the heck? I've got like a breakdancing fly. Come on, dance some more. Come on. You were just dancing a second ago. Oh. I swear, he was just like spinning in circles. He was, I don't know, he was breakdancing. Now he just seems to be dying.